After a late start to the day, we try and make our way to the beach house at the top of Princess Charlotte Bay. On the way, we manage to poke a hole in the side wall of the tyre. With a quick tyre change and no more spares, we punch on and get to within 3 k's of the beach. The so-called track starts to deteriorate. Getting that bad, we make the decision to turn around and head back up the main road when we begin the hunt for oysters and some crabs. <laughs> nice to meet you, Bear. We have some presents for you. Choo. Goodbye, Baldy. <laughs> Nothing's out of here. Huge. I'm sure it's a water park. It's yeah. The water pipes in here are fucking huge, man. They're fucking huge. Why do they get so big out of here? <laughs> Bite it down there. <laughs> How do they get so big out of here? Bloody massive. What you got on there? What you got tip there? What's that? Let me grab it. Let me grab it. But is it a fucking real? Is it? That, that's, a, that's a top end. That's a top end. That's a top end, eh? <laughs> no. Hey. Nah. 
Dan. No, no, gentle, gentle, slow. He'll tuck his tail. Gentle, gentle, gentle. <laughs> yeah, see? Yeah, that's good, 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 no, that's good. Gentle, just slowly, just slowly go like this, look, left hand under his belly like that. Yep. And then if he's going to come at you, just twist his tail. But he won't. See that there? If he's going to come at you... Hey, fire, 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 Twist, twist your wrist, twist your wrist, go like that. See, see you can turn him, go like that. See you can turn him. Fire. Twist your wrist. <laughs> come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. See? Yeah, I'm here, see ya. Lama, Lama, Lama country. Train the planes. And I got a uh, water python, I think it is. This is what they call him. If he gonna bite me, I'll bite him back. <laughs> Maybe he will bite you. Twist your wrist. Yeah. But see, yeah. He's, see, he's got that big ridge in his I'm back. To get he's a little bit skinnier than the other, the other one. Yeah. See that there? <laughs> that's all I do, that's that's it. You know what I mean? Like, like look, he just nailed me there, look. That's he's it. He's bleeding, he's bleeding. Look at him, bite him. Hey, wait. Stop fuck, bro. No, nah, but that's it. Like, it's just hey, like, watch out too. The getting a needle is worse. Is worse. Bite me, Don't you, dead, don't you. Ah! <laughs> I don't know, just the tracks. <laughs> Look at this fucking guy, Anna. Look at the ticks on him. Where? See it on his neck there? Oh, yeah. Last tick. Nice little Lakefield monitor. See, there's even more. Where did you get that from? Something in that water tank there. Right in there. Yeah, nice. Yeah, have a go at yeah. that just after. Oh, look at the lump on it. What's that? Look at the scar on his gut. See the hat like a hernia? Yeah. Can you grab it? Nice little... He's chilled out now. Until he bites me. Hear him hissing? underneath that water tank. Just stay out from under there. Reckon you could get that scar. See the scar and he's got there and that hernia? Must have had a fight there or something. Better than this way. So that thing's 
He's Can't old, bro. I reckon he's old. Yeah. He's got like fucked up fingernails and shit. I didn't go now. See? He was gonna chase us. <laughs> he was gonna chase us. No. You got lumps on him everywhere, eh? Let him go in that tin over there. Ah, he's gonna chase me, cunt. <laughs> Come, we we'll get this firewood here. <laughs> Come here. Come here with that GoPro you forgot. He's not going to chase him, I'm not going to let him go. <laughs> Proper old fella, eh? Go do a close up. I'll hold him still. That's gangster. <laughs> There you go. So what are you what are you doing here, mate? Just letting him go back to where. Where you got from? Eat me. <laughs> That's cool. Water python and a goanna in like 10 minutes. You gonna go feed this and come out on the other side of the other Yeah. That's where he goes in. And that's where he comes out. You can see all the tracks. I'll put his little concrete thing there. Typical firewood mission in the fucking Cape York. I'm out here at Lam Lam country. I just thought I'd share a quick little tip between pythons and venomous snakes. Because we have the perfect example here. Unfortunately, this snake is dead. This is the coastal typhoon. This is the number one most toxic snake in the world. That is the most, that's the top. He's the head of the, head of the gang. That's the boss right there. That's a coastal type in. Nice big belly, belly dots. That was shot just there next to our swags when we were hunting. One of the local rangers, one of the TOs shot him with a 22. Which is a shame, but you can't have the most toxic snake in the world in your camp, can you? That's not not too cool if you talk talk to me. But then we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you a, a, a common misconception between this snake in here. This is a water python. I'd say these snakes get a rap for being snake but they are not venomous This snake right here is a water python. He is non-toxic. He is a constrictor. Virtually harmless, but brown and golden on the bottom. Very easily mistaken for some of the most toxic snakes in the world. I'd say these blokes get a pretty bad rap a lot of the time these blokes are virtually harmless they'll bite you but do no damage pretty cool snakes so you just went between my legs didn't you yeah 
common misconception between this. You can see the golden body. The head. There's no eyebrows like the, the Taipan. The head's a bit more pointier. And it moves slower. But yeah, that's just... Thought I'd just share the difference between it since there's two of them. See if I can catch this other one. They're in that well, but they are pretty good climbers, I'd say. I don't think they'll be going too far. I'll set this up there. Settle now. mistaken for brown snakes are completely harmless constrictors do bite but no no toxins no venom also get known as the rainbow serpent these snakes have a rainbow glint 24 7 like most snakes will have a rainbow glint just after they shed these snakes will have that rainbow glint constantly they predominantly like to live in water that's why we caught them out of the well I'll put them back in the well as well. They can climb out. These snakes are fat and healthy. So this is where they're living. This is, this is where I'll put them back. That's their home. That's where I'm gonna leave them. So pretty cool snakes. Pretty happy that I actually caught both of them. I tried to catch both of them. Yeah, that's the guy, that's the shot. Very cool. Very cool. I'll we'll put them back in there. That's their home. I'll just leave that stick there just in case they want to get out. They'll very easily climb out of there. <coughs> If you enjoyed this episode, stay tuned for the next adventure, where we head further north on the east coast, then over to the west coast. It's going to be a ripper. Yoo!